Wait, that was the whole trailer? Man, I've had it here! The first trailer to come out for a video game that started development or is at its end of development is the reveal trailer. There have been so many types of this trailer, so I wanted to go over them today. They are necessary to bring the hype for video games, at least if they're done right. Make sure you comment down below what you think of reveal trailers. There's no specific date as to when reveal trailers even existed because at that point, wouldn't the first trailer for the game be the reveal trailer? Of course in the past, reveal trailers didn't have the same structure you would see nowadays. And also, not every new game has that structure too. So what it really boils down to is that reveal trailers are pretty much the first trailer of a game, even if there's no gameplay for it. You know, there was no point in making a history segment for this video. I'll divide this video into three parts. Bad trailers, good trailers, and vague trailers. Starting with bad, let me go over what you should expect from a trailer meant to reveal a new game in the first place. This is meant to be a trailer to show you that there is a new game coming out soon. It should also be a trailer to show that not only is it in the works, but there's a good amount of progress into it. Now that we got that out of the way, take a wild guess what a bad reveal trailer would look like. Hmm, maybe exactly that. Why are you even back here? Just leave! So where do we see the opposite of that? Well there's a decent amount of these trailers. Metroid Prime was announced in 2017. Count the years it's been since this very trailer has been out. It's called the first look of Metroid Prime. But what does this trailer tell me? Well it's going to take place in outer space. That's about it. These are the trailers I hate the most. Just a title and nothing else. No gameplay, no nothing. It's like when you think about doing something, tell someone you will do it, but never even start on doing it. Someone understood that. I hope. Another example of a trailer like this is Dragon Quest XII. This is a trailer that shows the theme of the next game, the name, and that's about it. Unlike Metroid Prime 4, this one seems to be doing fine in development, but that can definitely change in the future. It's been two years since this trailer came out. Yeah, no news after that. These types of trailers are the worst since sure they are trying to hype you up, but how is anyone supposed to get hyped up with a name alone? Good trailers come in many forms. They do include all the things that I mentioned should be in a reveal trailer. Final Fantasy VII Remake shows this. In its first trailer, sure it didn't have any real gameplay, but you can see what the developers worked on so far. To think it would take about 5 years for the game to come out. It's not terrible. It was hype to fans of the series. Of course the game was still in development and some things haven't been polished yet, but this was enough to give people something to look forward to. Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6 had some of the most amazing reveal trailers not only showing that the game exists, but how it's sooner to release than you expect. This is a great way to make a reveal trailer. Not only does this hype up the game in a big way, but the game is also not far from getting released so the hype won't die down very much. This is something you see a lot in a Mario game in bigger Nintendo titles. They get revealed close to release. And when I say close, I mean at most a year away from being revealed. Notice how I've said bigger titles, Metroid Prime 4. I think that's the direction Nintendo takes now because of Breath of the Wild. That was revealed with gameplay and everything, but it kept getting delayed. They didn't want something similar to happen, so they waited until it's very close to finishing. Please make the exception for Tears of the Kingdom. That game was revealed three years ago. Okay, I didn't even realize that that much time passed. I talked a bit about the vague trailers on the bad type of trailers. These trailers can be either good or bad depending on the trailer. My least favorite type of vague trailers are the trailers that only show the name of the game and that's it. But sometimes we do get a trailer like that but does have hype surrounding it. Take the Smash Ultimate trailer. It started off just like Splatoon 1's trailer, but then faded slowly to show the Smash logo and the roster. Already, Inkling was confirmed for the next unnamed Smash game. But also Link is in his Breath of the Wild version, and a couple of months later, we got the game's info and whatnot. What a time. Another recent one of these vague trailers is the next Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi game. Okay, this one was actually amazing. It starts off with Budokai Tenkaichi 3 gameplay. Many people believed this was going to be a remaster. But a bit into the trailer, darkness came. And then... 
Goku transforms. Not only does he transform, but he goes into Super Saiyan Blue, a Dragon Ball Super transformation. And then the trailer gives us something to look forward to. Let me tell you why this is one of my favorite trailers ever. Well, one, I'm a Dragon Ball fan. Two, I love the Budokai Tenkaichi series. And three, it hits so many good trailer points. It was misleading at first, but people already knew the topic of the trailer. Next, it confirmed many things in the short teaser it shows. It looks as if the game will have a new art direction from any Dragon Ball game we've seen so far. It will have Dragon Ball Super content, and it will be a new installment to the Budokai Tenkaichi series. But anything else is unclear. It still was able to set a great amount of hype for this game. All in all, reveal trailers are pretty great if they're done well. Not all the same, but they definitely are a great way to communicate with fans of a series or a company. But that's only if they're done well. Reveal trailers don't need to exist, but they're great to advertise a new game. It's a great way to hype up a series that exists, especially one that was thought to be dead. In fact, the whole reason I wanted to make this video was because of the Budokai Tenkaichi trailer. Yeah, don't judge me. But overall, they're cool when they're done right. What do you guys think about reveal trailers? Anyways, maybe I'll need to start making vague trailers for later seasons of E-World.